It's considered by many one of the biggest upsets of all time and most important game in college basketball history. The 1966 showdown of Texas Western and Kentucky. Only four players from that Texas Western championship team are still alive. Among them is Bronx native Willie Worsley. He's a trailblazer, whether he wants to admit it or not. Fella, let's not give up a lead first quarter, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's win, have some fun. Hard work. One, two, three. Hard work. If there's one thing Willie Worsley knows, it's basketball. Yeah, get out here, Jeremiah. Right. Jeremiah, you got to come around him. He may only stand at 5'6", but is considered a giant in the game of college basketball. Worsley rarely speaks about his historic accomplishments and for the most part is just known to Spring Valley players as coach. I was scared to accept that. Being a legend, being in history, that's a big thing. Worsley now at 76 years old proudly admits he is black history. 56 years ago, he was a member of the iconic 1966 Texas Western team that won the NCAA championship against an all-white Kentucky club. It's the first time an all-black starting five team won a title. Willie, who started in that game, says after the historic win, his team wasn't truly recognized or honored until a decade later. So even in that year, months after the game, it didn't hit you. We made history as the first quote unquote black starting five. No, no. 10 years later. 10 years later, we got our ring. Willie believes the true story behind Texas Western's 1966 championship run has changed over the years. Hollywood played a role in that. Coach Haskins is starting five black players, a first in NCAA championship history. In 2006, Disney Studios turned the Miners' 1966 championship win into a movie called Glory Road. It was built up as a David versus Goliath matchup. This small school from El Paso, Texas, versus an all-white Kentucky team led by their legendary head coach, Adolph Rupp, and star player Pat Riley. Worsley laughs at the underdog notion, reminding me that his team lost only one game that season. I'm from New York City. I play in the Madison Square Garden. We, we had a swag, but you know what bothered us? Because Duke and Kentucky played. They was ranked number one and two. We number three. The public said, who win that? The national be a national champion. That's what encouraged us. I never felt that we were playing against, you know, th this was about race. I never felt that. I never felt that we were playing against five black players. The details surrounding that 1966 showdown between Kentucky and Texas Western, now known as UTEP, have been slightly altered. But one thing that is indisputable is the racism Worsley and his teammates experienced that season. I'm the number one person to go out on the court. Some of them urinate on me and throw coke, you know, co coca, that's coke syrup was sticky, you know what I mean? And I'm from South Bronx, so we were fi I'm a fighter. You know, the bigger you are, the more I'm going to go at you. But late Hall of Fame coach Don Haskins redirected that anger, helping Worsley to find resilience and purpose. He said, you want to fight those 20,000 people out there? Come here. One at a time, two at a time. He said, who you going to fight, the little old lady there? That little white old lady over there? That little white baby over there? Or oh, the, the, oh, the little kids, you can fight them? No, coach, ain't, that, ain't not like that. He said, you want to beat them? Beat them at the scoreboard. Help, help! Rebound! Give it to him, get back, get back! I don't care about the shot, the passing cut. Hard work. One, two, three, hard work. Since 1985, Worsley has been putting Haskins' mantra in play as Spring Valley's basketball coach. The only sign of his past sits right here in this trophy case outside the gym. But if it was up to Worsley, he would remove his jersey from the display. To him, his life and legacy should be judged by what he's doing now, not what he did more than half a century ago. I've always wanted to give back. I've always had this thing that if I make it, I haven't made it yet, but once you know, I got a couple more years in life, I want to make it. I want to bring somebody with me. I want to help more than one, two, three people. Hopefully, two or three other people help those people. You know what makes me feel the brown, the, the brag about in coaching? People that play for me, I have now coached their son. They're giving me their prior possession. Man, oh man. So when you look back at that 1966 championship team, Texas Western was ahead of its time, not just because of race, but also for being guard heavy, a.k.a. small ball. Willie told me he wants the public to know this one thing and one thing only. At 5'6", he played forward and got eight rebounds in a game. Willie might not brag about his past, but he certainly does bring receipts.